I have never played a game as consistently replayable or as horribly silly as Gary's Mod. So much so that I don't think being bored of this game is even an option at this point. Similar to games like Jackbox and Minecraft, I can grab the same group of friends, but every time we play this game it just feels different and fun. From my many hours, days, even minutes playing this game, I've experienced what many wouldn't call the four phases of Gmod. This rare, completely real, don't look it up phenomenon is experienced every single time you play Gary's Mod Sandbox, the most expressive and unique mode. Uh, I, I got missed? this. No matter what happens, the phases remain. A game has started. Now, the host of this game needs to buckle in for a bit because, it, depending on how your game is feeling, it can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 30 minutes to load into a game. The moment the host is in, however, the rest of the team soon follows. At that point, it's a no brainer. But there is an important choice to be made. Do you kill your friend before they're loaded in? Or oh god, no wonder I can't join the game because whenever I do, I fucking die and I'm glitched out. Hey, no, no, stop! Okay, you're in the game and it's a sandbox map. Usually, if it's a new map, the first thing you do is. This is the most universally loved phase of Gary's Mod. This is when new mods are tested and maps are explored. If you've ever seen an unscripted sandbox video on YouTube, about 40 to 80% of the video consists of this phase. One of my favorite Gary's Mod memories is actually the Charles store. I actually streamed this live on my Twitch. We had a 7-Eleven map that we like to play on and I just started filling it with Charles characters. And you'll learn who Charles is later. Anyways, so my friends just started bombing everything, you know, just for fun. It just happened to be near the store and I got a little upset with them. Okay, I give up. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> Why? For the third time, <laughs> to you blew up my right? store! <laughs> but really, isn't that the fun with Gary's Mod? Killing each other and then forgiving each other and um, just being happy. I'm so confused! I, I don't touch it, Daddy. You moved it from my Why, you Why are you playing with nukes next to the thing I'm building? I'm so confused. I overreacted. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Wait. No, I'm not. You guys are fucking annoying. But that's the fun of Gary's Mod, isn't it? And this phase represents that. Every time you play Gary's Mod, you know you're going to have a blast. And it's all because of this phase. Trying new mods, having fun, using weapons. It's all a blast. Of course, this game is most fun when you're using the weapons. Oh, oh no. Now the admin weapons are coming out. Oh, and people are rage quitting. Oh, and now you're doing sniper duels. Okay, yeah, no, this is bad. Soon people are yelling, and it looks like it's time for- <laughs> Now you've done it. Once the guns start coming out, they never leave. This face is in perpetual foreverness. You will never not be shot in this game. It's extremely common to get sniped by your friend when you're trying to build something, halfway across the map even, and going AFK is physically impossible without dying at least once. This is a forever phase, a phantom phase, if you will. No matter what happens now, there will always be a looming feeling of death around you, especially as you see your friend pull an RPG once again. Look, while we're on the topic of RPGs, why don't I do a quick little ranking list of all the best weapons for this phase. Of course, this is in no particular order, Gary's Mod is pretty loose that way. The crossbow is a must have, it has a super easy scope, it's a fun snipe weapon, and it comes defaulted when you spawn into the game. Of course, you can't talk about weapons without the RPG. This thing is your go-to weapon when killing people out of nowhere, or killing yourself. Of course, if you wanted to get into fun mods to download, then you can't go wrong with the COD multiplayer set. The TAC insert allows you to spawn anywhere you want, the Claymores allow you to prank your friends, and the C4s are unlike any other weapon. They are just too much fun to play with. I mean, you throw those bad boys around, it's game over. You throw it on a plane, game over. You throw it on a friend, it's game over. You throw it on the ground, it's game over. It's just, I love explosions, bombs, missiles. Missiles are great too. That's what messed up my Charles store, but I forgive them because missiles are fun and it's funny and blowing things up is funny and nukes are funny, but those don't qualify for this phase. I'll, I'll get into them later. But eventually, this face dies down. Never stops, but it dies down. It's usually met with a more uncommon phase. This is where cars and planes enter the ring. Now I'll Goodbye, unveil Kasumi. my ultimate disguise. Soon there's a race. Nope, there's a dogfight in the air. Are we playing capture the flag or are we just trying to blow each other up? Sometimes something, my god, is going to make me go away. Yup, this phase is usually the shortest, but it's a lot of fun. This phase works perfectly with the first phase, but typically don't actually get the time to properly start flying without having your friends grab your ship and throw it into a nearby lake. 
What's usually fascinating about this phase is that it often blends in with the first and second phases. I mean, all the time I catch myself halfway through a dogfight and then in another moment we're, we're using new mods, but, but then we're killing each other. It's, it's almost like this is a transitional phase from the golden part of the game to the conclusion. Mostly aided by me just strapping thrusters to everything. Sorry guys, that's on me. It also doesn't help, this is one of the shortest phases out of all of them. Well, I guess it's not the shortest phase. No, that honor goes to- <laughs> The game is drawing to a close. People are getting tired, and the game session is clearly ending soon. The faces have begun to collapse into one another. Now there are planes and trains, automobiles, new mods are coming out of nowhere, someone left and came back, maybe a changed maps even. But sooner or later, even a new map can't delay the inevitable. Everyone knows it, and nobody wants to just stop playing. So, instead, you create an artificial excuse. What do you do? You crash the fucking game. I've had a great time. What do you, what do you guys think, huh? Mason, what do you think? This was, I had a lot of fun, and you know- Matt, what about you? Uh, I've had a lot of fun. I Me too. And... See you later. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. My speaker is just explosions, by the way. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Server isn't breaking. <laughs>